Hello and welcome to this vlog. As you can see, um, I'm not in my car <laughs> for once. I'm out in nature, I'm in here in a very ancient forest in Oxfordshire and um, it's a beautiful, beautiful forest. I love coming out here. Um, today's subject is one of intellectual conversation and intellectual opinions subjective opinions and objective opinions. Why am I talking about this? Mainly because I like to talk to people and I consider myself to be a very objective person in as much as I listen to what people say and think, ah, you know, my attitude has always been one of, sorry, there's a plane flying over. But um, my, my attitude has always been one of you know, you can learn, no matter how much you think you know about something, you can always continue to keep learning. And I found it very, very interesting how over the last nearly 40 years of belonging to forums and discussion groups and societies and all sorts of other things, how, how difficult it is to have an objective conversation with someone. Um, and to listen to someone um, about a subject without it being so opinionated that, you know, you feel like you can contribute something. Um, and I find it quite an eye-opener, really, that this hasn't really changed in, you know, 30 plus, nearly 40 years where I was involved in sort of computer technology before the internet and... You know, we used to dial into bulletin boards, and there was bulletin board systems were just basically a computer that had a massive sort of database on the end of them. And you were able to find specialist sort of subjects about various different things. You know, you could find one that just specialised in psych psychological ones, and then photography ones, and audio ones, and radio ones, and, you know, there was all sorts of things, graphics, and programming and you know I mean it was just anything that you really were interested in and I very very quickly kind of found out that a lot of the time the people that were running these bulletin board systems or in today's terms the forums that you belong to were actually very opinionated they were very objective or subjective in their opinions about stuff they weren't objective, and that's the point. Um, and so therefore, discussion groups and such like, I can remember, you know, being flamed and, and being kicked off of forums and such like for having, <coughs> you know, a conversation about something that they didn't agree with or that a group of people that were in the forum didn't agree with or wouldn't accept that, you know, somebody else could come along and do something different. And um, I used to find it really quite frustrating, and I still do. Um, I belong to various different forums now on a whole variety of different subjects and still find it very difficult to converse with people. Um, you know, just having an open mind. You know, yes, I suppose everyone's subjective in their thoughts and opinions in some form but I like to think that I'm a little bit more less subjective than most people and in my lifetime face-to-face -face conversations have been very very limited to literally you know a handful of people in my lifetime um, and it is it's difficult it is difficult to try and have a serious conversation with somebody about a particular subject without them being opinionated, without them having a subjective view, without them criticising or, you know, um, blocking you because of your opinion about something. And I do notice this is becoming quite a trend because I've noticed that other YouTubers on, again, various different subjects in life um, have come across very similar situations where it is very difficult to try and meet somebody or discuss things with somebody that 
um, you know, in a sort of an open fashion. Um, so I welcome your opinions and discussion, if you would like, on our Facebook page to see... You know, I'd be very interested to sort of hear whether other people have found the same thing. Um, you know, it's an interesting subject. Anyway, short and sweet. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again soon in another video.